So. All right, I am starting the recording now, and let's let's get going. Okay. So, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. Um, we have a light agenda today. Um, uh, in terms of you know where we were with uh, various action items, um, I think uh, you know we had the discussion around cello, and then there was some discussion about whether or not cello and explore were somewhat overlapping. I think that in terms of function, you know, certainly the um, sort of the monitoring aspects of things probably do overlap in some regard. Um, and they probably also overlap with the work that was demonstrated at the ACFEST on the Sawtooth stats um, in that regard as well. But um, I, I just wanted to sort of get a checkpoint with Bawa and any others that were engaged in this conversation to see where we are and whether or not we just proceed with um, you know repositories for cello uh, or or what so so is Bawa on the call uh, yeah this is Bawa and uh, last week I talked with uh, Padaha and uh, also Dan uh, who are the maintainer of the blockchain explorer and uh, we make some conversation and uh, we both agree that uh, shallows uh, for the as an initial uh, effort should be considered as an individual project okay so so basically the conclusion was they don't overlap is what you're saying <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, we agree there should be some uh, closer collaboration, but uh, sure. from the scope, uh, it, it should be considered as a, a, another project. Okay. Well, if we do get to quorum, then I guess we do have something to vote on. Um, uh, but we aren't correct, Todd? Yeah, so we're, we're at uh, six, uh, six of 11 now, so we need two more to get to quorum. All right. <clears throat> okay, um, next up is the China Technical Working Group. Um, I think uh, there was some back and forth discussion, certainly I know, between uh, members of the China Technical Working Group and Brian and myself and a few others. Um, and I don't know who's representing the, the CT, uh, I don't know what we call it, the China Technical Working Group, CTWG. Who, who's? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we might have even been calling it TWG dash C Technical Working Group for China. <laughs> Pick your acronym. So, uh, I, I saw a couple of notes last night. Unfortunately, I wasn't feeling too well, so I haven't really caught up. Where? So where I, are we, I, this, Brian? this is Brian. I could, I could, I could uh, provide a quick. Thing. And then Bawa, since you're on the call, and I'm not sure if Victor is as well, but uh, I could I could try to frame. There's uh, so the, the looks like the team has met. They've also been working on a document to kind of describe some of their initial thinking um, and and planning. Uh, they uh, uh, there was one question that was up, in which was you know we created this with three chairs and essentially a working group of three people, <laughs> and I think that was because we uh, wanted just a very you know, a, a kind of a bridge from that world to this, and and not a lot of, say, complexity and and perhaps you know a difficulty in determining who should be on that group versus not. Um, uh, but uh, I think there was a sense on their side that they did want a membership to this the way that there is membership in our other working groups. Um, uh, with them kind of together that initial initial membership. Of course, every process still being public, everything still being. Uh, done like our other working groups work, uh, and so uh, I think uh, that's the only that's the one point of potential TSC conversation now that's the last week of that group is do we want to um, you know uh, recognize kind of a, a membership to that community? Um, and I'm I'm neutral on the issue. I don't know Bawa if you want to say any more on that. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, 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 these two weeks, uh, we are hardly working on uh, draft uh, working guideline of the uh, TWGC. 
and uh, also we are collecting uh, more uh, volunteers as the uh, as the uh, resource of the working group, and uh, hopefully we can uh, bring some uh, guideline draft to the TSC for review uh, before the uh, January. Okay, no, in particular, Bawa, I was just wondering if you wanted to um, comment on uh, the desire to have the, uh, a membership of the working group, and kind of the issue we talked about last night, um, kind of your view on how you would pull that membership together, uh, and uh, um, the importance of having kind of a named membership on the, on the working group versus, versus not. Uh, yeah, actually, we want to keep the uh, work, group, work group as open to uh, everyone, and uh, whether uh, it's uh, uh, call it uh, like a member or call it some uh, like a volunteer, we will think both should be okay. Um, but uh, uh, since um, uh, as your as your nomination, uh, there are three uh, chairs present. Uh, we guess maybe there should be some uh, members. How do you think? Maybe at this point, open it up to others on the TSC if anyone else has a, um, thoughts on the on the subject. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm hearing crickets. Okay. Well, um, I would. <laughs> Uh, then I would take that as, as largely consent then, you know, with the recommendation um, or the emerging consensus from the, the, the China Technical Working Group. So um, how about some, at some point over the next few weeks you can come back, um, whether on the list or in the next phone call, although that's not for a while, with a suggested slate of, it thinks, looks like you were thinking about 10 people for that working group. Um, and uh, you could propose those, and and, uh, and 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 we can go back and forth <clears throat> before then as well to continue some of those conversations. Um, and then at some point as well, you may want to um, you know update the the wiki, the China Technical Working Group wiki page with the uh, some of the the additional thoughts and projects and such. Um, yeah. So, I mean, my my perspective is that. I mean, I, I guess I don't have a problem if the formal working group, you know, just like we've done with, um, you know, the other working groups where there's a, you know, th there are people who are volunteering to, um, you know, invest some time and effort and energy into it, but the meetings are all open, the mailing lists are open, you know, as long as we are operating under that same sort of approach where there's full transparency, no one is excluded from participation. Um, and and so forth, then I think I'm okay if the working group is really just those who are signed up to to do you know some real work. Okay, sounds like that's the case in my in my opinion. Um, and also, I should mention on the working group, we'll have two folks from the, uh, well, following the actions of the working group, not necessarily on the working group, but following the activity in the uh, discussion forums will be uh, two folks from the Linux Foundation, um, Min Yu, who many of you have met or know, um, uh, who's based in the States but speaks fluent Mandarin, and Keith Chan, who is based in region, and uh, uh, the, the members of the team are, are getting to know. So, uh, so there'll be that, that connection as well. Excellent. Okay. Well, uh, no, no motion needed right now. Just it sounds like there's con broad consent. Right. Uh, and uh, unless there's a, any other comments, we could probably uh, move to the next item. Unless, Bawa, any other closing thoughts? Um. Uh. Uh. Actually, for this month, uh, we are organizing uh, a, a hard meet meetup uh, in Beijing and. Uh, Hopefully in next month and uh, also the February, we will uh, organize more uh, meetups uh, before the hike. Yeah, no other issues. Right. And then I, we should also note that um, it sounds like the, there's consensus on March 10th and 11th for a hackathon 
in is, is that in Shanghai yeah. or Beijing? Uh, the the meet map on on March uh, will be uh, held at Shanghai. Okay. And so, is the are are we planning to have a hack fest that's coincident with that, or what are the? I think we talked about I think that. that. Was, I think that was desirable, desirable, and we should get started on planning that. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no to ourselves. Is there a sense amongst the members of the TSC and or anyone else that's on that they'd be interested and willing to have a hackfest in China? Um, I know certainly I'm already signed up to go to the um, to the hackathon. Richard here. Just um, I can't commit to a specific date, but um, I, I do intend to be in in, um, in Asia generally, in China more specifically, more often next year. So, um, in principle, yes. Okay. Thanks, Richard. Others? Yeah, I mean this. This is our Noah. I would also go. Cool. Hey, this is Hart. In general, I can't commit to a specific date either, but kind of the earlier I know and the earlier these things get set up, the better chance I have of going. Indeed. All right, we'll, All right, try, to we'll try to get it to now. Here. I'm sorry, Bill. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I think we'll take, make a note to get the, the hack stuff side of this sorted out. Before the uh, the end of the year, you know whether we'll do it there de definitively or not, um, and we'll probably do it conjoint with, but not overlapping with the hackathon, so that hackfest participants who also want to be mentors or judges on the the hackathon, um, or even participants, <laughs> competitors on the hackathon, would also have the opportunity. Hi, so Tom, this is Leonard. Just joined. Just want to know what's the difference between the hackathon. And the hackfest. Uh, what do they both focus on? So the hack. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, Chris. Well, sorry, Brian. So, so uh, a hackathon is, and we used to call these things. You know, we used to call the things that the Hyperledger project did also hackathons, but it's it's misnamed. A hackathon is a is a contest, right, where people come and they engage in teams, and they're going to build something over a weekend you know, sleeping under the desk and so forth, um, you know, where there's certain scope and so forth and potentially prizes and, and what have you. Um, that's the hackathon part that is listed, um, uh, you know, that we've been talking about um, that uh, for, for, the, for the March 11th date. Um, and that's being hosted by Wanda and sponsored by IBM and I think others. Um, in Shanghai on March 11th and 12th, I believe, and um, and then we were talking about having a Hackfest, which is our every other month, you know, bring the technical community of the Hyperledger project together for a couple of days, um, uh, and and we were talking about potentially having another back-to-back, -back like what we did in Amsterdam, where we had a hackathon over the weekend. Hosted by AB and AMRO with you know prizes and so forth, and many of us were judges. And then we had a, a hack fest again, a, the meeting of the Hyperledger Project technical community um, the following two days, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So we're thinking that that was a pretty good um, pattern to follow, right? Because many of the members of the Hyperledger Project um, uh, were participating in the hackathon either as contestants or judges or mentors and. And so we were able to bring the community of people using the technology with those that are developing it uh, together, and that was, uh, I think, very valuable. So we're, we're thinking about doing something along that line where there's a, a contest on the weekend, and then maybe the first couple of days of the week we would have a, a hack fest. Sounds very, very good to me. Absolutely. Thanks. Okay. Well, so, 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 Brian, are you going to, or, and Todd, are you going to send something out before the end of the year with prospective dates? Uh, okay. Is it going to be a survey or sure. something of interest? Um, yes. Let's, we'll take that as an action item um, to work with the, the group working on the hackathon to see if, you know, we can get you know, some deal on space, you know, and some other sponsorship for the Hackfest and the timing of that, you know, um, 
and uh, and we'll put something out. We'd like in general to get ahead. Um, we also have an, an item on the agenda for today to talk about San Francisco in January. So um, uh, yeah, uh, we'll we'll work on that and come back to the TFC. Okay, cool. Thanks. So yeah, and um, if I may interject, I have to repeat my uh, request for you know documenting as much as possible the uh, the even if there are tentative dates for now. Uh, we have two pages that I know of. There is the events page on the Hyperledger website, and then we have a public meeting schedule on the wiki, and need, none of them, as far as I know, reflect any of these things. So it makes it hard to know what's going on. So I would appreciate if we could put a bit of effort into doing this. And again, even if it's tentative dates for now, it's still better to have that as a placeholder than nothing. Good point, Arno. Thank you. Okay. Next up is the security badge discussion, and we we started that in the past um, about getting the security badge. And I think, well, um, I guess Brian, were you going to lead this? Oof. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I, I have to admit, I've not taken this on as an action since the last time we talked. Um, are there any volunteers? Otherwise, certainly we can move forward with this. It really does mean reviewing the, the specification for the CII security self certification, really. Um, <clears throat> reviewing that and then coming back and saying, here's what the project must do, here's uh, the overall Hyperledger project, here's what our code bases uh, must do, that sort of thing, um, and just come back with uh, kind of a task, uh, a set of tasks for us to, to, to roll through and, and, and that's Oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'll do that. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've got time. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. Then next up is the uh, proposed HackFest. Uh, in San Francisco following uh, Construct on February 1st and 2nd, which I believe is a Wednesday and Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Construct is on the 30th and 31st, which is a Monday and Tuesday. And so um, we've started asking around about space. I actually asked the Construct um, uh, conference uh, planners. This is a, a CoinDesk conference. All right. Um, this is the same group, I, if I'm, unless I'm wildly mistaken, who does the uh, consensus conference in May in New York City. Um, this is more of a, of a CTO kind of focused kind of conference, you know. Um, but it does seem like many of, of you likely will be there or could be there. Um, if you'd like to be there, let me know um, because I think they're still putting together the invite and such. But it's about 400 people. It's being held at the Palace of Fine Arts, which is just across the street from the Linux Foundation headquarters. So those of you who were out for the HackFest that we did a couple of, uh, several months ago in San Francisco, um, it's nearby. Uh, and I'm in contact with the construct planners about seeing if, um, you know, they'd like to, to, to partner up and uh, work with us on doing this at the same space as construct. Um, uh, but there we have some other options as well. Um, so we're, that's, that's another thing Todd and I will take as, as action items is to move forward on this. If anyone is in San Francisco and wants to, to look at uh, uh, other space alternatives or has other space alternatives in mind, certainly let us know. Um, but, uh, but the idea is that we would do it either the 28th, 29th, the weekend before, or the 1st and 2nd afterward, and probably the 1st and 2nd. Uh, it just might be easier to get space on that day. Um, does anyone have a preference or any other thoughts on, on, on this? Uh, I, my preference would be to do it afterwards um, to continue the week. If it's uh, the construct is a Monday, Tuesday. Um, so rather than doing it over the weekend, doing it during the week would be easier to schedule. Yeah. So I, I, I tend to agree with Nick. Um, certainly, you know, for me, I've got to schlep myself across the country, um, and I just as soon do it all in one go and not blow a weekend. Um, but that's just me. Um, I, 
Okay. Well, I um, think for anyone scheduling, it's better to contain it in uh, a particular session if that's possible. Yeah, we'll probably get a, like Hart, you just said on the on the chat. We'll probably get a lower turnout um, if, uh, if we do it on the weekend. And Brian, you're interested. It's probably still best again to do it in San Francisco rather than South Bay area. That was a question. You know, we're, we're, we went through that last time, <laughs> trying to move it down to the, I think it was the IBM facility and a couple down in San Jose. Right. Well, it was mainly to try to be, um, you know, conjoined in some way with the Construct Conference. There's also a, um, a Stanford uh, meeting, let's see, uh, um, just before that, the 26th, 27th. Um, so, uh, I, you know, I think we could be open. I think that the, uh, the benefit of being in San Francisco is, you know, potentially to be aligned to that conference, but, you know, that, that may be of questionable value, you know. Um, and if it was hard to get a space up here at that time, I'd certainly rather, I think I'd rather have it down there than not at all. What do others think? I'd suggest that maybe uh, you know a survey or a um, doodle poll to get a sense of who's going to which conference, if if at all, and preference for um, location of the venue. I, I mean, you know, from from my perspective, you know, having it in San Francisco is a little bit more interesting for nightlife and other things, but. Um, because certainly down by IBM, that's not a lot. Um, and I think that's... Okay, well, I, I was just going to chime in quickly. I think we did the doodle poll last time as well, and we can certainly do it again. And last time, uh, it was roughly even with a slight favoring to San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. The IBM facility South Bay is very good to stay focused on the work. <laughs> there is no a much distraction. <laughs> <laughs> you just no, uh, that was really uh, bad. We're, we're, we're Star Wars water the the whole day. Day. Come on. <laughs> right. yeah, you mean watching cows? Watching cows is not interesting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess next up is Hart wanted to give us an update on the uh, white paper working group. Yeah, so briefly I wanted to discuss uh, kind of what steps we were taking to try to make sure that we had a white paper sooner rather than later and uh, sort of stopped going in circles. Yep. Um, so uh, our plan uh, for, I guess, you know, approximately the next month or so uh, so we're going to finalize what we are calling a white paper skeleton mm -hmm. uh, and we'll send that out hopefully in the next week or so. This will have sort of uh, a couple of paragraphs about what we want to write and why and then uh, a general outline of the white paper. Um, so we'll send that out to the TSC list hopefully sometime in the next week or so uh, and ideally people can read it and give us comments over the holidays. Um, and then hopefully at one of the first meetings in January, we can get a TSC approval on sort of the, the skeleton of the white paper, uh, at which point we can, as a group, uh, you know, split it up and write the thing and hopefully everyone's okay with it. Um, so uh, I guess the, the crux of the matter is we'd like to get TSC approval on a uh, on an outline essentially so that we don't get stuck in this endless cycle of circular changes. Right. Uh, does that generally seem okay with people? That works for me. Absolutely. That seems to be a wise move. You know my feelings on this. <laughs> yes, we do. Yep. All right. So that sounds like a good plan, Hart. Thanks for driving that. Awesome. Yeah, we'll try to get that sent out within a week or so, and then uh, everyone, and particularly TSC people, uh, if you can take a look and, and get back with us, 
uh, get get back with some comments uh, so that you know what we don't want to happen is we don't want to be bringing this up for a vote and someone says oh no no you know you need to redo this this whole part of it and, and we don't want to get stuck in something circular like that so the earlier the comments come the better and thanks everyone okay all right so everybody look out for that um, so that we can maybe turn the <clears throat> the outline around during the uh, the holidays um, actually that that brings up a, a good point we didn't put this on the agenda but just to sort of review the 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 meeting schedule for the next few weeks um, we had planned on um, canceling the next two TSC meetings which would be the um, was it the 22nd and the 29th I think yep. third and 30 or 22nd, 29th, you're right. Yeah, 22nd, 29th. And so the next TSC meeting would be January 5th. Hopefully everybody is back then and we should be able to reach a quorum. But it was basically felt that people would be, um, you know, either taking time off. Um, I know I, I plan to try and take a little bit of time off the last week um, and I'll be working on and off during the next couple of weeks. But, uh, uh, Hopefully everybody's back in time for the 5th. So the next uh, TSC meeting will be January 5th, and hopefully then we can part, we can pick up and, and get a, an agreement on that date for your outline. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, next up, just as a reminder, um, <clears throat> you know, we talked about, and this was largely driven by um, you know, input from, from Mick as well, um, and, and I want to thank you for that, um, to get each working group to sort of document in some sort of a charter um, bef before the January 12th, which would be the second meeting at, in the new year. Um, and so I just want to remind everybody to, um, uh, that, that, that they need to, to be working on that. Uh, and to bring them to the to, to the TSC by the 12th. We won't necessarily approve them on the 12th if there hasn't been enough time, uh, but I do want to sort of set a target for when everybody can get theirs in. And of course, you can always get it in earlier, um, and then that way it gives people time to review it. Um, but that's just a reminder. And then, um, Brian, you want to talk about the internship program? Sure. I mean, I'll share it with Todd as well if, if you'd like to add anything. But uh, we're still putting this together. But one of the next steps is um, looking at the people who would be mentors for for these interns. You know, the idea is on uh, across our different projects. You know, we have um, individuals able to spend a couple of months uh, coming up to speed and hopefully contributing in, in some non-trivial way. And to get there, you know, certainly it'll depend upon the community, uh, you know, as they climb the learning curve and, and get to be productive. But we find, I mean, very similar to Google's Summer of Code, you know, it's very, I think, important to have the mentors involved uh, in a um, you know, at least one mentor per uh, to, uh, to act really as the, a, a more, um, more persistent um, uh, presence in that mentor's experience. So uh, you know the um, the requirements shouldn't be too too hectic, but it should be you know um, quick turnaround on email uh, uh, here and there, and, and maybe a few phone calls, um, uh, you know, and face to face if that works out, but uh, certainly not required. Todd, anything else? What is what is the expectation for the interns? Are they are they going to be in the San Francisco office or uh, where would they be located? What is the mentorship? Is there a job description? We're, uh, no, uh, I, I don't think that we will be either requiring them to be in the San Francisco office um, or expecting them to be, although um, any of who do happen to be around, certainly that would be great. Um, uh, but, uh, but no, we'd like to, to find you know the right mentors no matter where they're located around the world, really. Um, so, uh, uh, and then, you know, the expectation is that they're still somebody probably in school, that they're probably still working their way through 
um, you know, kind of a standard curriculum of computer science, um, that they have an interest in blockchain technology space and they simply, they want to learn more. Um, I'd expect that they probably should have some experience with open source software development, but, you know, they still may be rough around the edges on that too. So some of the mentoring may be on how to participate in a community, how to ask smart questions, how to give good feedback to others, that sort of thing. So as much, you know, in the guts on a particular project, I think the hope is that they do contribute something substantive to to one, to one or more of our code bases. Um, but that it's, it's as much about that as it is about um, training them on, on public software development, open source development. Todd, anything to add? No, I just oh, uh, dropped a few links in there. One is just for the uh, Umbrella Internship Program at the Linux Foundation, just talking about it in general across the roughly 50 projects we host. <laughs> And then I dropped in a link for uh, Open Mainframe's internship program, which just should add a little more color uh, to what we're we're working towards developing early next year. And are these uh, general undergrads or grad students? Um, uh, and, and I'm asking specifically because I've got someone that asked me about internships to move a code base into Hyperledger from MIT. Um, she's a grad student. I wouldn't want to tie an internship to something like that, uh, just because that is more of a that's as, as much t technical as it is. I don't want to say political, but but um, okay. you know about, you know that's that's a fairly sophisticated thing, and I'd like to be open to that, whether or not we accept a, a particular person as an intern, right? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, but other than that, I, I I don't know that we've limited to undergrads, uh, but I haven't read. Full <laughs> Linux Foundation policy on this, so um, I would I would personally be happy to take take a grad student. Okay, thanks. Uh, can you answer okay. Hart's question about is this a full time summer internship? Uh, yeah, it is, uh, and there should be some details on the Open Mainframe page. And if not, uh, I can uh, send a quick summary of, of of what we've seen on past projects as well. Cool. <clears throat> All right. I guess that's it. Unless anybody has any additional agenda topics. If you're, yeah. Let us know if you want to be a mentor. It is, I guess, the wrap up of it. Um, yeah. Uh, on 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 any other topics, uh, Chris. If uh, since we didn't have a quorum here to vote on cello, um, do we want to try to? Do an approval by email between here and January, um, or just sure, I can, I, I can, I can start that off. I'll uh, draft a note right now. Okay. And if we're not ready, I mean, if, if enough the TSC feels that there's still still some more evolution of the proposal required, that's fine too. I'm just wondering if we are ready, you know, then we can get the list set up and and get you know open the door for that community. I'm not hearing any pushback. I'll send a, a note right now. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. So uh, I wish everybody a happy holiday season. And we'll talk at you all, um, if not before, um, in the new year. Thanks, everyone. Have a good break. Have a good break. Thanks, Chris. Happy, happy holidays, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.